Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X here. Today we're doing our Maruko-chan episode 4 live reaction. So last we left off, um, sh her and he, uh, is it he not? No. Is it he not? <laughs> her and her, uh, yeah, he does it. Her and he not went to, um, well, they were going to a store, basically, but, you know, we met a couple of ghosts here and there, but uh, she ended up meeting that old lady that was, like, a scammer, but at the same time, she could actually see stuff, and she couldn't even help her, but luckily, that one ghost that was following Maruko, um, that looked very creepy, uh, he actually stopped following her. Uh, today's episode, I can't remember what the title was, but once again, that's always a good thing. But let's go ahead and get started. Remember, who guys, for more Maruko Chan Live, Reaction slash reviews. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Y'all already know trying to get to that 40k before the end of the year, so help your boy out. Hit that subscribe button, join the fam. But all right, about to begin this, guys. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. I'm loving all these creepy anime that have been coming out uh, for this um, season. What is happening? Whoa! Wait a minute. Well, she's having a dream. I thought something else was happening to her. <laughs> That was very creepy. What was he doing? A dirty dream. <laughs> Damn, that boy left out with the quickness. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's see, let's see what ghosts, what scary ghosts we're gonna see today, folks. I've never, I've never been a pudding person, but I, I can see the appeal. Pretty <laughs> gross and rotten. Man, they got all the snacks, huh? Man. Go straight to your booth. <laughs> oh, man. I love the designs for these ghosts. So what is he like, uh, an employee that died a terrible death, and now he comes back? Oh my god! Damn, you gotta pay for it, but well, I know some grocery stores where you gotta pay for a bag, but damn, a convenience store? Hmm. <laughs> oh, dear, is that her mama? Oh my god! Ooh, wee! Ooh. Oh, no, huh? Two campers making happy memories. Who was lurking in the shadows? <sighs> I'm about to say definitely Photoshop, but. That would be very creepy. <laughs> she's all, I bet she's like, you know, this show, 
I can't even anymore. I'm living. I'm living a horror story now. The heck is this? Bro, get your perfume here. I'm just kind of thirsty. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Itachi was behind this. She's in the Genju suit. That, that makes perfect sense now. <laughs> Every time I see a raven. Man, that's got to be convenient just to have a, a, a soda machine outside your house. Oh, shit. What the heck is this? We got little spirits? A tiny old man. Wow. Finally, finally one that's not terrifying. She's playing around and shit. Whoops, my coin slipped again. See, this is what happens when you're playing around. Look at this shit. Why does he, the, the designs are so good. A giant old man. Wow. So I'm guessing maybe the little old man lures people or whatever to that one. <laughs> wow, where'd it go? Oh my god, how big is this thing? Holy crap! Oh my god! Can she smell that? I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I would have had left that money there, y'all. I'm not even bullshitting y'all. Or either that or I would have came back in the morning and got it. If it's still there. Shit, somebody can have that 500. Wow! Boys is stealing money out here. Now I'm really thinking. She's in a genjutsu. Itachi is playing with her. <laughs> then again, I guess that bird technically just saved it and got her out of the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, no luck. <laughs> Where are the drinks? Wait, they got little men, little people spirits there too? Wow. Okay, that's very creepy, man. I love the, the designs for these spirits, man. Really good. You know they gotta show us at least one more. Are we ever gonna get some more with this damn girl? Like, who, who is she?
Who the heck is that? Is that her brother or somebody else? Hmm. Oh, this is her brother. Okay. No, please, in her sleep. And she's got a boyfriend. What the f <laughs> I'm super faithful when I'm with a guy. Look how old are these kids? <laughs> oh, God. Bookstore. Okay, okay. Get your nice little manga or oh, get some paranormal. Oh shit! I will forever say the horror is my favorite like genre when it comes to movies. So I don't really like it. I mean, that kind of actually looks like that could have been a. a <laughs> no, I'm gonna say it could have been a spirit right there. It's a real big. It's a real awesome big man. It's a real little brother right there. Keep your little so keep your big sister safe. Everywhere she goes. And she's like, I don't even wanna see what's behind that shelf. Oh my god, is he gonna take the book and then... Oh! You <laughs> didn't even look it at that! Oh my god. Hickeys are a sign of love. I mean, not really, but, you know, it's a sign that you did something. <laughs> Closer and closer each time for this video to get took down. <laughs> Every time. Oh, we get the shower scene. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Please don't tell me your spirit's gonna come out the drain or. Whoa, okay. Glad they're covering everything. <laughs> why? 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 Yo, this is reminding me, this is reminding me of the, um, oh my god, Nightmare on Elm Street scene, damn near, where Freddy Krueger's little g glove comes out the water right in the bath, although that didn't happen just now, but it's like it's covered her entire body. Who the heck is this? Was she just having a dream? Oh wait, she has a does she have a cut on her leg now or has that always been there? Oh my god, it's still in there. It's still in there. Yeah, at that point I'm like I'm like no, not in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, well guys, it looks like it's time for me to get out the bath. Oh my god, that thing looks just creepy how scary it is. Oh my god! Oh, 
I figured I'd join you? What the hell? We've taken tons of baths before. Oh my god. <laughs> so strange, because they're both butt naked, but she's just washing his back, everybody. It's just so strange to me. Why is he in the trash can? Is his body there? <laughs> this crow is here. You're going to be late. That thing looks like it doesn't even look like a spirit, it looks like a damn demon. God, how she. Oh my god! And I lost my appetite! I lost it! Oh my god! Look at how long this thing is! It's like a dr <laughs> pudding, pudding. Oh, my God. Oh, God.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I just can't believe this. What is happening? Oh, this is from before in the beginning. Oh my god, is this is what she was seeing that whole time? It's crazy. <laughs> I was wondering why she left in a hurry. Man, this is horrible. Oh my god. I like how they showed it from his perspective first. That's crazy. <laughs> I see them too. Oh, I wonder if the girl is going to be next episode there from that title at least. Hmm. Interesting stuff going on here. Alright, so, oh my god, man, that was an amazing ending right there. Because I could have sworn this entire episode, and I want to even say maybe before, I don't remember though, uh, but I feel like we've seen her dad before this whole time, and this whole time this man is dead, it's like on some six cent shit. Um, there was a lot of scenes this episode that kind of reminded me of different things. From different media, like I said, when she was like in the bathtub, it kind of reminded me of the um, Nightmare on Elm Street scene where his like when that I forgot, um, I forgot her name is. Oh my god! When she was in the bathtub and then like Freddy Krueger's glove comes between her legs. That's that's kind of reminded me of that right there. Um, but yeah, the, the, the designs for these spirits are so good. Like very creepy stuff. Uh, like I, I don't even know which one was my favorite one this episode. Um, I want to say it's probably obviously between the alleyway one where she sees the um, and I love how they did that at the end right there where like the, at the beginning of the episode you see it from the um, her brother's perspective like when he's like they're watching TV together and everything and then at the end you see it from her perspective where there's like ghosts on video and stuff and she's like yeah I gotta get out of here but um during that time, you know, she goes to get a drink outside, which, shout out Japan, I mean, if y'all have, like, soda machines just, like, outside like that, that's amazing, I mean, I wish I could go outside if I needed a drink, pops, right there, but, oh, uh, she goes out there to get a drink, and at first she's, like, a little, uh, and this isn't the first spirit, actually, now that I'm thinking about, what was the first spirit, uh, that she saw, Dang, I can't remember, um, oh, it was the one in the convenience store with the, the neck that was like twisted up and I'm like, Jesus Christ, but she sees a little, a uh, little mini guy and he's like, uh, uh, like a fat, like a little tiny old man. She's like, oh, little tiny old man. He's actually pretty cute. And she, she, <laughs> she had the quarter and she was like, oh no, the quarter has slipped out my hand. And she goes over there and it's like this little big ass monster with like little people around it, I guess. So I guess like it lures them to it. But yeah, that one has to be like my favorite design this episode, either that one or the one at the end. But um, you know, she's like, oh, I need the quarter. Uh, uh. And she can't get it and like a crow comes out of nowhere and takes it, but it kind of saved her or whatever. She's like, thank you. Um, and then later in the episode, um, what was it? She, uh, I think she sees one when she was like, in the bookstore right she sees one that was like when she was in the bookstore uh but she doesn't we don't get to see what it looked like she just covered it back up with the book uh then we got in her brother this whole time is like following her because she he thinks that she has a boyfriend because she's been acting weird or whatever uh it's so strange that bath scene it's kind of strange but like I, you see it all the time i guess like in um anime or whatnot you know where people are butt naked giving each other baths which there's nothing wrong with that uh you know like 
but it, I think it was because it's like you know the brother sister, and it, I think it's because like she's so older than him. As it seemed like at least maybe not, but yeah, I'm like what? It's like she's still butt naked, giving him a back, giving him a, a back clean cleansing or whatever. But anyways. Yeah, that one right there, she was in the bath, and another spirit came out the tub, and I don't know if she was, like, dreaming right there or whatnot, but there was one in the corner. That one did look creepy, I'm not gonna lie. He was, like, very skinny, like, almost like he didn't eat or whatnot. There was also one where she looked out the window, and he was, like, in the trash bags or something, which was weird. But, yeah, um, her brother right there saved her in the bathtub, because she was like, not in the bath, not in the bath, no, in the bathroom. <laughs> but her brother came in, kind of saved her there. And the spirit left her alone. Uh, but the one at the end, oh my god, that shit was creepy as shit. Like that, like that one didn't even like the rest of these kind of resemble spirits. Like even the one that was in the alleyway, you know, kind of looked like humanoid or whatever, just like big. The one at the end, that didn't even look like a spirit. It looked like a damn demon. Like she's oh, and, and it was kind of intelligent almost because it was like kind of like mimicking her or whatever. And there she had her family there and everything. And I'm like, wait a minute, I kinda actually wanna go back. Cause it looked like like she you know she like her dad was there and everything with the mom. And like I said, I don't know if we've seen him like throughout, but he was like there. And I'm like, um and, and at first I thought at the end too, after we got the reveal, I thought like maybe that big old spirit was him. But it it, it wasn't because like he even like acknowledged it at the end. But um you know, she had got that pudding and she left in the refrigerator or whatever and then like, you know, towards the end, like cause the little big old demon looking spirit was like, it licked her plate and everything. She's like, I'm not even hungry anymore. And her brother was like, hey, is that what you're putting in the refrigerator? And then she grabbed the pudding, she walked into a room and then she placed the pudding on a shrine and then we get to see the picture. I'm like, wait a minute, who the hell is that? And I'm like, what this or that? And then this boy just walked into the room and he turned into a damn spirit. I'm like, yo, he's been dead this whole time. Like, that was the craziest reveal ever right there. That was so well done, man. I just lost it. Like, that had to have been, like, one of the best scenes I've seen in a while in anime. That shocked me. I was like, this is, man. I was like, oh, some six years. I was like, he's been dead this whole time. And... So she was like, he was like, oh yeah, you got me some pudding. Oh yeah, thank you uh, for me, thank you, whatever. And then she's like, until we meet again, or whatever she said, then until we see each other later. And then like, uh, the little spirit was like pudding, and he was like, no, that's my pudding. So that's why I know that wasn't him, because he was acknowledging that spirit. But yeah, that's crazy. Like, I don't even know where these spirits come from. Like, what is this? And then we get the little after credit scene where um, we get to see her perspective of like the beginning scene. like. I said, um, and then like her dad was there, like, oh man, kids shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> like that was funny, but yeah, man, this episode was so good. Like I am loving this anime so far. Like this is, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. I love the designs of the spirits. I love the funniness, the fact that she's like trying to ignore these spirits, and they just have these wholesome episodes like this one right here, where dad's been dead the whole time, and we just boom, like wow, plot twist, like holy shit. But um, yeah, man, such a great episode. And so next episode, from the title at least, it seems like we're finally gonna get like a confrontation with maybe her and that girl that um. Uh, you know that we see from time to time with the pink and yellow hair but yeah that's all guys remember for more maruko chan live reaction slash reviews make sure to subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get notified when i drop my videos also follow your boy on instagram twitter the discord as well if you'd like to become a member of the channel all that's in the description box below if you like the video guys like the video comment learn your favorite privacy was and as always guys it's been your boy x i'm out deuces